Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a different kind of a video for me. It's one of the kind of OG videos I suppose that YouTubers would have done. And I am always interested to see this. It's a what in, what's in your bag video. I'm gonna go through my handbag and show you everything that's inside. I haven't touched it, so it's everything that kind of has been in there. I do change my bags a lot, but somehow I end up with, I don't know, an equal amount of junk in each of them. So I'll show you that and I'll talk you through this bag as well. I got it last year, um, just over a year ago, and I have a little bit of a story there as well. It wasn't plain sailing with this bag, but do let me know. I wanna know if you like these kind of videos because it's different and I suppose I can definitely do more of them if you do, or if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see, definitely let me know um, in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe because every week now I've got different kind of videos coming, lots of fashion, lots of kind of lifestyle vlogs and stuff like that too. But anyway, back to the bag. So this is a Prada shoulder bag. I don't think it has any specific name. I think it's just called a Prada shoulder bag. I got it last year, last April. I bought it when I was over in LA. I bought it on in the Rodeo Drive shop. Note to anyone who's thinking of doing that, don't. I'm from Ireland, Europe. The bags are way cheaper because this is an Italian brand. So I ended up paying more for it, but anyway. That's a different story. I had the memory of buying it in LA, so I didn't really mind. Uh, it comes with two straps. This is one of them, and I love this one. This strap is like my probably my favorite thing about it, and the size and the color. Um, this is kind of why I went for it for the summer. This kind of matches a lot of the tones that I'd wear, a lot of the colors that I'd wear, and I knew that I'd get a lot of wear out of it. Um, yeah, and I kind of like this kind of size bag for everyday use. Although, to be honest, a small bit bigger wouldn't go astray because I can't fit everything in here all the time. Um, as you can see now, it's quite full. But um, I'll just show you the other strap. So this is the other strap, which is nice to have the option of. It's just a plain nude leather strap. So if you are wearing something that you want kind of a plainer strap for, if the colors don't match in the strap, um, you can always change it. I paid $1,700 for this bag, uh, I think. I'm actually not sure exactly how much, but um, they are still on sale, I'm pretty sure. And I had this for three months. I think it was about three months. And I noticed that the leather started to tarnish. Can you see? Um, so all of the, the, this is all gold hardware, but it was kind of starting to go silver. And I was devastated like because it was so expensive and I'd already paid more for it than I should have paid. So um, I brought it in to Brown Thomas, which is, where the Prada concession is and they were able to change it for me but I think sometimes it can be difficult to do that like I think just because it was three months I got kind of away with it but yeah it's annoying that like after spending that much that that happened and I can see a small bit again it's happening but it's not as bad um and when I got it again I was like oh maybe I should just sell it before it happens again but I do actually really love this bag and I wear it a lot especially in the summer months and it's soft it's comfortable to wear and it's a good size. When this happened, I kind of thought, God, I really wouldn't buy it from Prada again. But I think in general, their quality is quite good. I think I just got unlucky with that first bag. Um, but yeah, I suppose tarnishing does happen if it's out in the rain or I don't know, like wear and tear after three months, it really shouldn't happen. Has that ever happened to any of you with anything Prada that you bought? Let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, okay, let's open this bag. I've never even shown this bag actually on my YouTube. So it's kind of like a bag reveal, but it's an old bag. So you've got two compartments, a zipper and a front pocket. I love these kind of front pockets. Oh, it's completely full, sorry. So you gotta love the front pocket uh, for like parking tickets and stuff like that. Um, the first thing that's always in my bag, it's on my lap right now, is my phone. Literally don't go anywhere without it. If it's not in my bag, it's on my, on, in my hand. Um, and then we have got my house keys. So, I'm like, I don't even know. So there, I have three keys for my house because we have like a gate and stuff too. And then this is my home house in Limerick. And I've got my gym pass, but I recently left that gym. So I probably won't have that much for much longer on there. I have my Beverly Hills keyring. And I have my little Cooper keyring. Oh, so cute. And then I have one other keyring. They're very big keys. I really need to take some of these off. It's uh, from Harrods. I think Nicole, my sister, got me that when she went to London. So they're my keys. And then we've got some receipts. That's just for parking. Not surprising. Parking in town. 
more parking, and we've got a H&M receipt for 139.45. I love H&M. H&M especially this summer, they have literally the nicest stuff ever. So I can't go in there without spending money. So there you go, they're my receipts. And then I've got my driver's license. I'm so embarrassed to show you this photo, it's so bad. <laughs> so I got my license on the 14th of September, 2012. What's that, seven, year, seven years ago? Oh my God. So it was on my birthday and I went in, I was like, it's my birthday, please don't fail me. <laughs> and it worked. I got seven grade twos who were allowed eight. Um, so I passed. I don't know if I passed because it was my birthday or because I was a good driver, but I passed. And I didn't care what the picture was like. I went straight and got my license after. So I was like, I don't care. Should have thought about that because I'm carrying around this license literally forevermore. Or for, like for the last seven years and probably longer. It's actually gross to show you. I should really have got the card one by now. Look at the state of it, it's so bad. But um, this is it. That's all I'm gonna show you because <laughs> the picture's really bad. But um, yeah, so I got my license seven years ago and I drive nearly everywhere. I drive my car every single day. So I need to have my license in my bag. Next, we've got this NARS foundation stick. I love this just for like topping up like throughout the day if I'm out and I don't get a chance to go home. I don't use um, foundation sticks very often, but I do like them like for just tapping up when I'm out of bed. It's easier than carrying around a liquid foundation and a brush. And then the brush will go all over your bag. It's like compact, so it's good. You've got the the foundation on this side and the sponge on the other. And I have another one, a Bobby Brown one as well that I really like, but this is just the one I have in there at the moment. And then I have another powder one because my skin tends to get quite oily, uh, especially like my T-zone. So I literally couldn't live without this. I love this. It's actually a pressed mineral foundation, but it's a powder. So a little powder and then underneath here, sorry, there's a sponge. So I use that. I'm actually gonna use a little bit now because I can see a little shine, but it's great. And it's got a little mirror and it's a good size. I've had this, I just got a new one recently, but I had it, i am got over a year now. And you know when you find like a handy little compact like that, you just can't live without it. So yeah. Next, we've got a card. Oh God. Recky Master Tarot and Angel Card Reader. I went to one last month. So that's obviously in the bag since then. Um, yeah, I'll put, in, I'll put in the name and I'll just put up this so in case you are interested if you're in Dublin. But um, yeah, I've, I'm like into that that kind of stuff. I like being told things about myself. Not about like, that sounds weird, but like, I like being advised and given guidance and I feel like I trust that. I don't know, it sounds so weird. But like, whenever I go in there and they tell me, okay, you this is what you're like and this is why you act this way and this, I'm always like, oh my God, yeah. Maybe I'm just really gullible, I don't know. But I like it and I do like it for guidance and I do like it for like positivity. Like I find they have a good way of putting like a positive spin on things and just helping me clear my head sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Now I've got my car key. Um, I have two of these. Sometimes I go around with two of them in my bag and I'm like, why? But it's handy. My car is so handy when I walk up to it. I don't even have to press the button. It, like it, my car knows when the key is near, so I just have to literally click a thing on the handle. It's so handy. So I, whenever I'm getting out of the car or anything, when I walk away, it locks itself. It just saves me having to do it. So I like that. And then I've got my Mulberry card holder. I got this for my birthday two years ago. It's very dirty now. My sister's got it for me. And I have all my cards in there. I've got four or five different bank cards, loyalty cards, um, my boots card. Love my boots card. Um, oh, my New York, New York State ID from when I lived there. I still use this as my ID. I don't have any other ID card. Works everywhere. Um, yeah, it's like from 2015. Um, what else do I have? Oh, it's Yeezy's card. Yum. And then my, I re recently got a Revolut card and I find it so good. It's got, you know, you've got the app on your phone. It's really easy to like send everyone money. So that has been pretty life-changing. And literally not, not a dime, not a bit of cash. I'm so bad for carrying cash. 
Actually, hang on, I lied. We have 10 cent in the bag. <laughs> um, what else have we got in here? I'm going back to, the, sorry, I should have said, that was the back pocket here. And now I'm moving into the zipper pocket. So in the zipper pocket, we have, oh, more H&M. We have the, this is, so in H&M, they have like recycling boxes and you can bring in like a bag of clothes and for every bag of clothes you bring in, they'll give you a five euro voucher. And they do it all year round. They have the boxes in the stores. So you can use one of these then per per visit. So it's you get five year off, which is great. Like, you know, it's nice to get some money back for your old clothes and stuff. And then I have some body tape because God only knows when you might need that. And the Prada tag. Yeah, that's just the, the Prada like authenticity cards and stuff. And okay, now I'm gonna move into the the front pocket, got my Ray-Bans. I was like so late on the bandwagon with these. Everyone has these, they're, round, they're the classic round Ray-Bans, but I love them so much, they go with everything. I don't just throw them in my bag. I don't even put them in the case, I'm so bad for that. I, like I find sometimes cases are just too big, they don't fit and they make your bag really bulky. But um, yeah, some of my glasses have got kind of scratched because of that, but it's just easier. Like when I get good stuff, when I invest in things, like even my bag, I wear them to death. I don't really mind them as much as I should, but that's because I'm getting the wear out of them. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like I wouldn't wear them if I had to be so conscious of them all the time. So that's, that's my glasses. And then I am guilty for carrying around literally like, look at all this lip stuff that I'm carrying. Hang on, I'll go through them. So my most worn combo is MAC Whirl, the lip liner with, I can't even carry them all, Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. That's what I have on now. And I have, I have a gloss over it. Oh, I have this gloss over it. This is Charlotte Tilbury Refresh Rose. It's kind of like got peppermint or something in it. It's like tingly when you put it on, which is nice. And then um, I have this So Sue Gloss Bitch, uh, which I love. I love the color of that, but I find my one kind of spills, which isn't good, but anyway. And I wouldn't want to be OCD about my bags because they would just get so dirty. They do, they do get so dirty on the inside. But um, then I have this, so th then I wear these two together sometimes. This is Pillow Talk, Charlotte Tilbury, really nice lipstick. It's kind of like darker, a little bit more, um, a, just a darker nude, a darker readier nude. And then this one, this lip liner I wear with it is the Huda Beauty Spice Girl. And that's a nice kind of, it's a little bit burgundy-ish, but it's still on the nude side. And then this is my favorite lip gloss ever. I have like literally three glasses, three lipsticks and two liners in my bag, just in case. Um, lip products are definitely my favorite makeup product though. I couldn't survive without lips. I'd be like, I could do like bare face and lips and I'd be happy. So this is uh, the Victoria's Secrets, what's this called? Total Shine Addict. It's just their lip gloss and it's in shade Candy Baby. I've been using this since 2013, since I went to my J1, and it's now 2019, that's six years ago. I love this lip gloss, it's so good. It's re like, it depends now on what kind of lip gloss you like. It's sticky, it stays on for ages, but it's sticky, like, so I know a lot of people don't like sticky lip glosses, but I love it. And then this is a new addition to my lip lip lipstick collection. This is Tom Ford Revolve Around Me. I used to have this, and then I used it all, and I just got it again recently. So it's a really nice pinky nude. I probably wear that with the whirl liner and the pink lip gloss, but I love that and I love the packaging. Isn't the packaging so pretty? Tom Ford are just the nicest. And then let's see, what else do we have in here? Earphones, tangled earphones, because I don't have the patience to ever untangle them. Whenever I'm like talking to my Insta stories with my headphones in, people get so annoyed at me. Like anyone who is remotely like organized or I don't know. They just get annoyed at me for like all the tangles, like there's one here, there's one here, there's one here. I just don't really care. I don't actually use them that often. I have um, my Beats wireless headphones that when I'm going to the gym and stuff like that, that's what I'll wear. But these are just more like if I'm traveling somewhere and I don't want to carry the big headphones. And I've got some Go-Go's. I feel like I'm probably the only person watching this that calls them Go-Go's. Scrunchies, hair ties, whatever you want to call them. Um, Bless you wouldn't survive without those. So always have a few of those at the end of my bag. And some bobby pins floating around. What kind of a handbag would it be if there wasn't some bobby pins in there? And got some chewing gum. 
This is my favorite flavor at the moment. And, <laughs> oh God, some lashes. This is actually from the weekend, that's embarrassing. <laughs> because we were out on Saturday for Terry's hen and my lash was like coming off. Edie was like, just take them off. So they're there, I was wondering where they were. I'll keep those, I'll wear them again. <laughs> it's not gross. But um, yeah, I think that's actually everything. Um, yeah, how does that compare to what you have in your bag? Normally I'd actually carry a charger as well, but that's the annoying thing about the size of this bag. Like if I put a charger in there as well, it's very full. And the, the, the closing, whatever it's called, the metal, the closer? No, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's not like super tight, so if it's really full, it'll kind of just sit open, like, which is annoying. So I try not to overfill it. Um, yeah, I'd have to take out probably some of my lipsticks if I was gonna fit a charger in there too. But that's everything. I just wanted to show you what was in there. I like seeing what's in people's bags. Let me know what you thought or anything. Catch your eye or if you have any questions about whatever I have in there. And let me know if, there's a, if you like these kind of videos, if you want to see me do more of them, because they're kind of fun, kind of different. And I feel like you get to see a little bit more and I guess you can kind of tell a lot about somebody by what's in their handbag. So let me know what you thought. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.